Thanks for joining us. I'm Brandon Malloy. A Central Texas man is now facing intoxication manslaughter charges after a deadly crash over the weekend. Here's what we know. Robinson police say the suspect behind the wheel of an SUV slammed into a truck pulling a camper Sunday on Loop 340. And the driver and two passengers were thrown from the truck on impact. One of them died at the scene. Another died in the hospital. Police say the driver of the SUV was drunk. The breathalyzer test nearly three times the legal limit. Lacey Lakeview police are reminding drivers now to be alert after a scary close call. The department says the road was closed so an emergency helicopter could land. That's when a driver crashed into the patrol cars on the side of the road. The officers were not in their cars at the time and no one was hurt. Copper's Cove police need your help to find a man who they say is behind two recent Walmart thefts. Take a look here. If you recognize this man, the department is asking you to call them. You can also submit an anonymous tip on copperscovecrimestoppers.com. If your tip leads to an arrest, you could get a $1,000 reward. Temple police are also looking for a theft suspect. Police say the man in these photos is wanting for thefts at Central Texas Beauty College and the Sonic on South 57th Street. Both of these incidents happened on September 12th. If you know anything, please call Temple Police. Limestone County is dealing with its first positive case of chronic wasting disease. Texas Parks and Wildlife says two deer tested positive at a deer breeding facility. Now, the most recent results came in on Friday. The state is now looking in the area around Limestone, uh, Hill, Freestone, and Navarro counties in order to learn more. If you are heading down I-14, there are some lane closures that you will want to be aware of this week. Starting tonight, the westbound left lane from FM 1670 to Simmons Road will be closed. Uh, tomorrow night, the right lane in that area along with the off-ramp to Simmons Road and the on-ramp from George Wilson Road will also be closed. With the midterm elections just over six weeks away, McLennan County Republicans gathered in Waco over the weekend to talk about human trafficking and security at the border. McLennan County Sheriff Parnell McNamara and his deputies spoke at the event, at the event sharing their insights with the community on how to stop it. These young people uh, are being trafficked by the gangs, the cartels. It's just a terrible horrible situation. Jessica Dominguez is a Republican running for Justice of the Peace for Precinct 5. She says this issue goes beyond party lines. We want to make sure that they are safe. We want to make sure we don't see any news stories of people dying in these tractor trailers. We want to make sure that our money isn't being sent back to the cartels to fund their motives. Those who attended the rally say the best way to make a difference is to vote. Meanwhile, a new political party holding its first convention ever over the weekend, the Forward Party met in Houston. Now, this is a coalition of three third parties, the Reform America Movement, Serve America Movement, and the Forward Party. The group hopes to get on the ballot in time for the 2024 election. Democratic candidate for Governor Beto O'Rourke will be touring colleges across the state this week. He will be in Central Texas on Wednesday, first at Texas A&M at 10.30 a.m. Then he'll stop at Baylor at 1 p.m. O'Rourke will speak with voters and help people register to vote. The deadline to register is October 11th. Well, good morning. It is setting up to be a nice one here across Central Texas. Had a cold front work through earlier this morning. And while you won't initially feel it, it will keep temperatures down this afternoon, only topping out near 90 with a north wind. That'll make it feel like it's in the upper 80s thanks to the drier air that will continue to work in. Plenty of sunshine this afternoon. We will have a northerly breeze around 10 to 15 miles per hour. So the fire danger will be high today with that drier air working in. Do not uh, burn anything and uh, don't do anything that could cause any sort of fires. They could spread quickly under those conditions. We saw that earlier this year. Unfortunately, it looks like those times are back upon us. The winds as they relax overnight will allow those temperatures to fall down into the 50s. You'll wake up to kind of a crisp morning out there as you kick off your 
Tuesday and then a very similar day in the afternoon. Upper 80s, lower 90s likely hanging around again. The only thing that might change is by Wednesday morning, some southeast winds may kick in, raising those morning lows and potentially pushing the temperatures back up to around 90 in the afternoon. We will stay quiet here in Texas for much of the work week. Of course, we'll be watching Ian trying to make its way towards Florida, potentially making landfall Wednesday into Thursday across the area and then pushing off to the east. That keeps us on the drier side of things, so dry air will continue to pour into our area, keeping rain chances very much near zero here as we go through the rest of the work week and on into next week as well. Looks like those rain chances remain extremely low with any sort of rain passing well to our north or well to our east. Potential rainfall showing a goose egg here going through the rest of the next seven days. So don't expect any rain in the gauges here for the rest of that 10 day forecast. We stay nice though, lower 90s, upper 80s for highs. Those morning lows again dip in the 50s Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Very fall like weather here in Central Texas. We're back in the mid 90s heading on into next week, but at least it's not the triple digits we've had here as of late. That's a look at your forecast. Have a great rest of your Monday and thanks for keeping it right here on 25. Thank you for watching this Alexa update. To find these stories and more, visit KXXV.com.